and our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. I'd like to invite the children to come join me up here, and the congregation can have a seat. Come on up. I promise you'll get to go back to your parents. Have a seat. I won't keep you long. <laughs> a couple more. All right. All right. Well, I have lots of helpers, so this is, this is great. So here we are, and it's Easter, and... <laughs> Why are they laughing? This one? Oh, it's Christmas Eve. Got it. Okay. And so, it's, sorry, it's Christmas. And on Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Santa, right? No, Jesus. Okay. It's Jesus. <laughs> Got it. All right. It's Jesus. Okay. Whew. I'm going to earn my paycheck. So, it's so the birth of Jesus. How, how does the story of the birth of Jesus go? We just heard Deacon Sue read it in a really formal way, but you can tell me. How, do you know, how did the birth of Jesus happen? Uh, well, the angel went down and told Mary that... Hang on. Go ahead. The angel went down and told Mary that she was going to have a son, mm -hmm. and she was going to name him Jesus. Right. And so they went into, like... So they went and she gave birth to him, and he, she laid him in the manger. And then an angel went down and told the shepherds, to follow, I think, follow the star to where they were. Close. And cl you're good, no, you're good. You're really good. You're really good. You're doing my job for me, so this is great. What else? And <laughs> then they went there, mm -hmm. and then they honored Jesus, Yep. I think. Yo, yeah, oh, they did. They honored Jesus. Yeah. 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 So they honored, well done. Thank you, Emma. Bravo. <laughs> good job, Sunday school teachers. So... You got the star right. They followed the star. There's the wise men who followed the star, and they also came, and they brought... Do you guys remember what the wise men brought? We didn't hear the story today. Yep. Yes. Gifts. And what kind of gifts do they bring? Gold. Gold. Yep. Anybody else remember? There's three gifts. Silver. Not silver. Gold. Oil. Yeah, oil, myrrh. Yep. And frankincense. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We'll get to that story another day. But they brought gifts to Jesus... And the shepherds, thank you, came to, were, to, were told by the angels to go to see, to see Mary and Joseph and the, and the baby Jesus who were in a manger, which was, they couldn't stay in a hotel, they couldn't stay in a friend's house, they were stuck outside in like a shed. Uh, and, and so, but they went to visit them. Because then why did they bring gifts to Jesus? Why did the, the shepherds and the, go ahead. Because he's son of God. Awesome. Great job. And, and so they brought gifts to the Son of God. And, and, and so what does the Son of God teach us? What's the most important thing Jesus teaches us? To honor God. To honor God. And how do we best honor God? By doing good things. And helping him forgive our sins. Helping him forgive our sins. There's one word I'm looking for. Praying. Yep, praying is a good one. There's one word I'm looking for. Believing, that's, we're getting there, we're getting there. <laughs> the one word I'm looking for is the word love. This Jesus is God, God made real. That's, the, that's unconditional love, extravagant love, abundant love for all of us made real in one person. And he teaches us that we have to love to love others. And one way at Christmas we do that is by giving gifts to people, Right? How many of you get gifts at Christmas? Yeah? <laughs> All right. How many of you give gifts at Christmas? All right. And why? And who do we give gifts to? Go ahead. Our friends? Yep. Who else? Family. People we love and we care, and we care about and we cherish. And, and we are, as Christians, as followers of Jesus, we're asked to go be people of love, to be gifts of Christmas in the world. And we give gifts to people because they, are, because they are special to us. And all people are, are, all of God's people are special and loved by God and should be treated and loved and respected by, by us. And because you guys are so special, 
And because we love you, my friend Lydia has a Christmas gift for you to take with you as you make your way back. Merry Christmas to all of you, and may you know that you are special and loved by God. And that, that gift that Lydia has is just a small token of our love for you. So go ahead, get your gift from Lydia, and make your way back. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And thanks for your help. You did an awesome job. Thank you. So the story I'm going to tell you is a... And if you didn't come up and want a gift, the ushers are going to have gifts in the back uh, for you. Don't, don't you worry. So the story I'm going to tell briefly is a story that's not mine, but it's one that I think of often this time of year, and it was uh, told to me by a, a dear friend and late mentor. Uh, and it's a real story. It's a true, it's a true story. Uh, Laura Jean and her family were going to have a very cold Christmas one year, not because of uh, the blustery winds and the snow, but because uh, Santa wasn't going to be able to come to the house that year. Uh, there was going to be a Christmas tree given to her by the place where she worked, uh, more of a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. They decorated it with aluminum foil, uh, with popcorn, and, uh, uh, and with construction paper ornaments. Uh, there were no gifts, uh, there was no advent giving tree in the church that would, would help her, uh, help the family have gifts that Christmas. And so she came up with this idea because she wanted ooing and aahing on Christmas morning. So she took empty boxes and she had her children decorate the boxes with markers and crayons and, and wrap it up in a ribbon. And she said to them, I want you to give gifts to each other. And if you had all the money in the world, no, if, if you could give anything to your family right now, what would it be? What would it be? And to this day, or to that day when the story was told, Laura Jean and each of her children said that was the most special Christmas for all of them. It was the one, the most memorable Christmas that they ever had. Because in that moment, they experienced love shared. They experienced the gift of love shared, abundant, extravagant love shared with each other. I think that story rivals any told by Dickens or O. Henry or Dr. Seuss. I think it actually mirrors Christ's own story. Somehow for that family in that moment, in that moment they mirrored they mirrored Christ's own story. They mirrored that first Christmas, that first Christmas when God came into the world, into his world, in the person of, of Jesus. Laura and our God answered the question, what could we give if we could give anything the same way? And they each gave the gift of extravagant love. And God's gift, God's love, was Jesus Christ, wrapped not in bright colors, but in bands of well-worn cloth. God could give anything and everything, but he chose to give his son, Jesus, meaning God saves. Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. God's gift, takes, God's gift of love takes flesh and comes among us that we might have life and have it abundantly. Laura Jean's family never forgot that Christmas of abundant poverty. Neither has God forgotten that first Christmas, when love claimed the world. As this year draws to its close, we need to tear open the package of God's extravagant love. And that gift is here among us now, pointing us to new tomorrows with brighter dawns. Emmanuel, making lions lie down with lambs. God's love enabling us, the people of God, to be gifts of Christmas ourselves, to be generous in our abundance and resolute in our commitment to justice and righteousness for all people, all because a child was born. If, if this sounds improbable to the point of impossibility, remember God urges us to think big just as Jesus shows us how to love big, urging us to offer that love to one another 
to be gleefully unwrapped. To those of you who are joining our service via our live stream today, and to all of you here, may your homes and hearts be filled with the love of God, and may we all become gifts of God for the people of God this Christmas and always. Amen.